What's up guys, I said I was gonna do a QA. and a I didn't get a lot of questions for the Q&A, oddly enough, so maybe this will spark some more questions to come through for next month, but uh, leave your questions down below. Otherwise, we'll get right into the Q&A. All right, JJ Gilmore asks, are you going to watch more anime and review them? If so, what will those anime be? Um, so actually, right after recording this, I'm gonna be doing my unscripted review of the Demon Slayer series, or the first season of Demon Slayer. And uh, I've also got interviews with Monster Girls planned, as well as Goran Lagann. Um, as for shows coming up, uh, I'm going to be trying to uh, kind of burn through ID Invaded, as well as uh, Angels of Death. So i got a couple shows in the works, I just need to watch a lot of them. So the ones that I have already seen all the way to the end are going to be the ones that I'll review first, and then the ones that I have to either refresh myself on, like Goran Lagann, or shows that I haven't watched at all yet, like Angels of Death. Those will have to be sort of re reapproached once I finish the series. But yeah, those are some of the shows that I've got in the works at the moment. So a user named I Try Not To Lie actually asks a question. I'm gonna use this question to sort of set up a response and also sort of a just general information thing here. So uh, they ask, is there somewhere I can watch your four missing Oran reactions? The daily motion links don't seem to work anymore. I'm aware, unfortunately, that a lot of those links don't work anymore. Um, the problem is, for some of the ones that I have linked, uh, they are either reviews that are linked to a video that has my reaction, or they're just dead links. I'm trying very slowly to work my way through them, but at a certain point, I'm posting enough and working on other things enough that I just don't bother, unfortunately. So, a lot of the dead links are, like, missing content that just won't come back, uh, or I just don't have the original files. Uh, I actually had somebody ask me recently if I could give them the um, the videos for uh, for the Blood Blockade. Uh, it was a really awesome fan who actually gave me the Blood Blockade Blu-rays to react to. And um, at some point, somewhere during my move and during my transition from one editing workstation to another, somewhere in that mix, I ended up losing a lot of files, a lot of reactions. Uh, they're either on a hard drive that no longer is in my possession, or they were erased or something, and so I don't have a lot of stuff like that to go and fix those, and the amount of time it would take for me to fix them versus just going and finding and deleting them or in not bothering, unfortunately, uh, those pretty much end up just sitting dead. So if you find a dead link, you can leave a comment, I will try to get to it, but I just don't really bother with it anymore, unfortunately. I just don't really have the time to to try to fix as many as I've as I've made, which really sucks. All right, enough of that. Let's go to uh, Zatch AC. Uh, says, hi, Garrett. Hope you're doing well. My question is, how long have you been a fan of Pokemon? And what's your favorite game slash movie from the franchise? That's a very good question, actually. Um, the franchise itself, God, I've watched that show, the four kids version for, well, since I was a kid. I've watched that series for a very long time. I, I watched it right up until all of the original voice actors changed. And it, it's one of those, like, I enjoyed it, and I got to the point where I knew what was going on. Like, I wasn't a kid anymore, so I actually was watching it as an anime, not as a, as a cartoon. And I realized that a lot of the original cast was leaving, so I stopped watching after that. Uh, as for my favorite game from the series, Pokemon Yellow, probably, if I'm to like talk about like like solid old school classics. I would probably put the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee and Sword and Shield up there as well now. I would put Sword and Shield up there pretty high. I've been really loving playing that. And movies, I mean, Pokemon 2000, easily. And if I were to pick a different movie than Pokemon 2000, it would probably be the Detective Pikachu movie just because I love that movie. I did a whole review of it, actually, so you can check it out over there. But uh, yeah, P Pokemon 2000 uh, or the uh, or the Detective Pikachu movie. Thanks for asking, by the way. I guess you noticed my little Pokeball over there. <laughs> All right, uh, Yosaku-san asks, thoughts on the Crunchyroll Anime Awards? Uh, will you be reviewing, or will you review any of the winners? I'm pretty sure Demon Slayer was one of the winners, so I think... Uh, I think that would definitely qualify, so yes. And actually, um, my thoughts on that, I watched a few of them, like I saw a few of them as they were going through on the community pages on YouTube, and I I wanted to watch them, and at the time, I think I'm gonna actually go back and like watch the videos that were posted in relation to them now, but um, 
I didn't watch any of them because I was actually planning on making my own anime awards episode or uh, review, but um, I kind of didn't want to just pile on to what was already being done between both Funimation and Crunchyroll and like, you know, the decade in anime. Like it, it was a cool video idea when I started. And then as I saw other people starting to do it, I realized I would just be kind of throwing my bottle into the ocean, my message in a bottle into an ocean made of messages in bottles. So there was really no point in doing it. It would have just gotten buried. But I think I'll probably be reviewing a few others on there. I've got a few sort of uh, guilty pleasure animes that I watch as well that'll be reviewed, but uh, my thoughts on it, haven't watched it yet. Uh, I should probably do that now that I don't intend to make my own uh, competitor for that. All right, next up is Yuki Sahashi. Oh, asking, a, not really political. I don't like talking about this stuff. It says, what is your opinion on Vic Mignogna's failed defamation lawsuit? I didn't follow it. Honestly, I really didn't care too much. Like, I think it kind of sucks. I, I think that as an artist, he's an incredible voice actor. Every time he's been in other shows, he has acted most of the other cast under the table, but uh, when it comes to his personal life and stuff like that, I never really cared. I actually met him once, and he seemed like a really cool guy, but I was just there as a fan. I didn't really, didn't really care, honestly. So yeah, and can you please stop asking me questions about things that I really don't want to talk about? I don't do politics and, and smut and, and that kind of stuff on this channel. So just putting that out there. There was actually one comment on my most recent video asking for more questions, which was, uh, have you been reading any more? This is from the fifth doctor. Oh, the fifth doctor commented. He must have come back in time or, or forward in time and, and wanted to ask me this. That was really bad. Uh, have you been reading any more of Eden Zero? Uh, or 100 Year Quest. So I haven't started 100 Year Quest. I really need to do that. I have been reading more of Eden Zero. Um, I'm holding off on saying much yet because I want to get way further ahead in the series uh, before talking about it again because my initial impressions versus what I think now are very different. So that's definitely going to change when I do the final review of whenever I catch up to the series. But yeah, I do need to catch up on, on uh, 100 Year Quest. And this last question here comes from Grell Sutcliffe himself uh, from the previous Q&A video asking, okay, so you have two. Uh, what anime will you recommend after Black Butler, Death Note, and The Seven Deadly Sins? Oh, so what would I recommend aside from those? I mean, none of them are really tied into the same themes. So if I was just to recommend one, I would recommend the Me Mekaku City Actors. That would be my first recommendation after those. Probably Fairy Tale if you've got the time, uh, or Demon Slayer if you really want to get into a shonen that's a very unique style. Um, or oh, One Punch Man. One Punch Man's not on there. Or Mob Psycho. I've got a list. But um, yeah, first one on the list would definitely be Mekaku City Actors. I love that show. I know it's flawed. I know they rushed the ending. But I love that show. It is incredible. It's probably one of my favorite shows out of Studio Shaft alongside the um, Tsuki Monogatari. So, yeah. And the last question is the second question of uh, Mr. Slash Mrs. Sutcliffe. Says, do you ever or will you ever do a greet and meet? I plan on it. Not here, though. Um, mainly just because with Hagerstown's placement and the fact that I've met maybe two whole fans who actually live in this local area who have recognized me, I'm not really planning on doing anything like that for this area. What I am planning on doing is I want to try to do a... Uh, I want to go to the Fan Expo in Toronto and try to do that. And another big plan for me this year is I'm going to try to go to RTX again um, since I haven't gone, I, I went the year before and I didn't go last year, so I'm going to try to go this year and uh, maybe hang out with Murder of Birds, gotta try to do a meet and greet there. Um, I was actually kind of surprised there was quite a bit of an overlap with his fan base and mine for a while, um, and he's just a really cool guy to hang out with, so I think uh, probably doing some kind of meet and greet out there with him and his fans and my fans, you guys, um, that would be a nice place to do it. And then... The other one would just be at Fan Expo, just kind of going there and hanging out, seeing if anybody recognizes or spots me, and uh, that'd be about it. I'm not really, uh, I'm not a social person, let's be real. I'm sitting here talking to a camera in an empty apartment with just me and a cat sound asleep on the couch. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a social person. I can try to be, and so if you guys want that, we can definitely try to make that happen, but uh, otherwise, yeah, not a, not a majorly social person, but I can give it a shot, and... Um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. And if you guys think that a meet and greet in this area would be worthwhile, if you guys would be willing to travel to Hagerstown, or if you guys are already in Hagerstown, uh, Maryland, by the way, not the uh, not the other place. But uh, yeah, if you guys want, let me know. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's it's a good question. 
not something I'd ever really considered in a local area, more at like expos, because that's where a lot of people are already condensed. But that's been it. Please leave more questions. This was actually kind of difficult. I had to go scouring a lot of questions off of multiple places on the internet or multiple places on my videos to try to find some questions to answer. And uh, I want to do more of these Q&As, about one per month or so. So please just leave some more questions. I enjoy doing this. Otherwise, thanks for sitting through this q and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, otherwise, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe and all that, and I'll see you in the next one.